How's it going out there? This is Feed Your Mind, and in today's video, I'm going to share with you a new concept for the flat earth firmament. And so this new theory is the igloo firmament theory. So in this theory, it basically is saying that, well, I came up with this theory like a week ago. Or a few, maybe a couple weeks ago, and well, I'm, I'm pretty sure I came up with this theory because I haven't seen it anywhere else. Um, so in this theory, I describe the firmament as an igloo because with the Antarctic area being ice and the sun going in a circle so the sun melts everything in our area but when it gets to the outer areas which is antarctica everything is frozen and so i expanded that idea into including the firmament because all the diagrams show like a frozen area on the outer Antarctica area, but, um, and then that's pretty much it. Then they have like a dome firmament over that. So I added this um, theory where we include the ice wall area to cover the entire sky with ice so the sun would melt um just just the area that's livable where the heat reaches and up top would be ice because and this also goes good with the new concepts coming out about the sun having elevation during seasons so as it comes into the inner ring of the inner circle of the flat earth, the sun, the new concepts are saying the sun actually rises up. So it's kind of like it would follow the path of like the dome shape of a firmament. So as the sun comes in for the inner circle around the North Pole area, the sun will be at its highest elevation. And then when the sun goes out for our winter, it'd be on the furthest from uh, the continents. It would be closer to the Antarctica area. So, so the sun would be at its lowest elevation at that time. And that would fit perfectly with this igloo theory because that shape would naturally form uh, uh, an igloo and it doesn't even have to be an igloo shape I just say that to describe this concept because um, you can look at it as just a block of ice or everything would be ice uh, the Bible says in the beginning you know God's act you know God's spirit was moving um, over the waters so water can come in all types of forms, like, uh, well, three different forms, um, steam, liquid, or solid. So, um, I don't know, this, this is just a concept I'm throwing out there just because, you know, we, we can't really know these things. That's why this is a brainstorm video, because it's like we're, we're brainstorming here, we're we're looking for answers by exercising our ideas and our thoughts on a subject and focusing on a subject and seeing what we can figure out and make logical sense out of it. So um, that's like my preferred method of figuring stuff out, actually. So that's, I figured a lot of stuff out with that method. So, yeah, so this is the new concept I'm throwing out there it's the um, 
the igloo firmament, the flat earth igloo theory. Um, and like I said, it doesn't have to be an igloo. It could be a block of ice, you know, like <laughs> that would almost explain like the four corners of the earth or even that, um, that, that square box that the Muslims, um, travel around. They uh, go around this square, this this black cube thing. So you could you could substitute the igloo for any shape. I mean, it could be a block of ice. You know, it could be a block of ice. Who knows if um, you know you, where you can go with this hypothesis? But in the middle of that block of ice would be the sun. Um, when there was light, the sun, when the sun formed, um, it would melt, um, it would melt away the, um, the areas around it. And you wouldn't be able to get through this ice, right? And you could see through it. They say the firmament is see-through. A lot of times it's described as see-through. So yeah, this is a, pretty interesting idea i thought i mean i was just throwing it out there for everybody you know you guys can you know take this concept and you know try to add to it or you know maybe maybe you don't care for it maybe you think it's interesting just let me know i mean what do you think about it does it make any sense to you um i actually released a new video called um what is the firmament made of? So that's a, it's an incredible video. It has lots, you know, it's, it's a video I took time on to present it correctly. Um, lots of pictures, you know, lots of um, concepts and it's well polished. So I'll leave a link to that video in the comment section and the description box so you can check it out. Um, you're going to, I think you're going to enjoy it. We cover a lot of concepts about what the firmament might be, you know, like, so I cover the, the, the igloo theory plus other theories like, um, the toroid, toroidal field, um, concept, you know, the magnetic energy field. Um, we cover, we cover the molten glass theory uh you know that's that's the biblical concepts um yeah we cover a few things in that video so i think you're gonna enjoy it we even break down like what actually is physical reality you know what 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 actually is that because the bible says god created everything with words like he spoke everything into existence so that was a clue and we expand on that in this in the, in the video so check out the video i'll leave the link in the comment section and the description box once again that video is called what is the firmament made of so i'll see you in the video thanks for tuning in this has been feed your mind all links will be in the comment section and the description box for uh, like my social media, my other channels. And if you can donate a, um, at least a dollar to this channel so I can continue to um, put out more and more content, um, I'd appreciate it. So thank you for your support. Thank you to all the Patreons. Thank you to all the subscribers. This has been Feed Your Mind, signing off.